Hello, it's Spence, the evil genius, with your WordPress tip of the day. Guys, I've got another great question from inside of our 1WD TV forums. This one comes from Tyrika, who asks us uh, basically to give us an understanding of the difference between reseller hosting versus shared hosting. Also, she has questions about what to do about hosting for clients. I mean, exactly what does this mean? What would she be responsible for, etc.? And she admits she's a newbie, so this is kind of an, a good opportunity for me to review some of the basics for hosting. I talk about this extensively in almost all of my webinars now, that hosting is an outstanding way to go from a full service business to a productized recurring revenue service business. And that is to say, a business that works for you even when you as a freelancer are not working. If you have any questions about previous webinars, you can get our latest one by going to 1wd.tv slash latest training, or you can subscribe and obviously get access to all of our webinars in the past last 25 or so here under courses. But to answer her question, here's what I want to show you. Let's get started with one of the ways we suggest that students at 1WD TV can become a reseller or get a reseller account. Now we like Bluehost, so if you go to 1wd.tv slash hosting, it'll give you a discount that will apply. And this is obviously something that's an affiliate link for us. And what happens is you'll go over here to products and you can see the difference between shared hosting, VPS hosting, dedicated hosting, or reseller hosting. Now, let me explain the differences between these. Shared hosting is for an individual who is looking for the least expensive way possible to get, typically, a single WordPress site going. Now, there isn't a rule that says you can't do, or that you know, you're prohibited from doing more than one WordPress site on an account, because WordPress will allow you to use subdirectories and also use subdomains, which I can explain briefly. But for most people, the bandwidth and the hardware and the storage space that's allowed here is perfectly uh, suited for a single WordPress installation. So for roughly $4.95 a month, you can get set up and basically have your own shared hosting site. You can also use this for a client, so you can act as the intermediary, if you will, and set up the account on behalf of the client. Even if the client is the one paying Bluehost, you can get access to do all of the setup for them. Now, why is that good? Why is it bad? Well, it's great for the simplicity, and it's great for the fact that it's only five bucks a month. It's bad because you're giving away the opportunity you have to provide the intermediary services on a recurring revenue. You see, this is $4.95 a month to Bluehost, but you're not getting a piece of that. And yet the client is likely going to want or even need to call you for various things during the next month or several months until at least they get their ball rolling, if you will. And in some cases, they may want to continue to do that into the future. So that's where reseller hosting comes in. Reseller hosting is where you get a different type of an account. And that's an account that allows you to have a much larger degree of not only server space and bandwidth and transfer speed and things like that, but you also have a certain unlimited amount of accounts. This means that you can keep each of your clients in separate accounts. So let me explain the difference between accounts. If you were to get the $4.95 single uh, account, you on a shared server, you can technically or theoretically put as many clients as you wanted to jam in there before Bluehost would catch on to you. But the downside is that you're going to have all of your clients in one space. Think of it like putting all of the kids from the school into one school bus instead of having individual cars giving them a carpool. When the time comes to do backup, when the time comes that you have one of your students or one of your clients acting naughty, you have very few options with regard to how to handle it if all the kids are on the same school bus, right? If each kid is on their own individual car or in their own car and one of them is acting naughty or one of them has to have a change of plans, you can divert that car or shut that car down or soup up that car to make it faster, whereas if all the kids are in one school bus, you can't. Also, there's a savings of money. If you think about it, yes, you can jam 25 people into a single site account, you'll probably get shut down. More likely, you can fit one or maybe two or three. But look at the price difference. Here, for 20 bucks a month, you can typically handle at least 25 clients on their own accounts very comfortably.
Last but not least, the big difference is that there are special tools that come along when you're using a reseller account. There's what's called WHM, which is basically a web host management system, and that gives you control to turn on and turn off all the various things that might be useful for one client site and not another. Likewise, you can use another tool, a third party one called WHMCS, which is usually available as an accessory or you can just get it and install it yourself. And this is what we use, in fact, to allow you to not only manage the various accounts, but you can also use it to manage the clients, handle their payments for each monthly amount, and just to basically take care of both the client and money part at the same time as it's taking care of turning on and off and managing the site server. Okay, now where else can you go with this or what else we do? Well, let's figure it out for a second. If you've got a client that's coming to you and they want you to set up a WordPress site, this type of reseller account is ideal, as I mentioned in the webinars, because you can give them quote unquote free hosting. But what you say is that you need them to pay you a certain service each month, a service fee for the support. In our case at LabZip, we do that $25 a month, which is free hosting plus forum only support. We do $50 a month for client if they want to have email or forum support. And we do $150 if the client wants to have personal support over the phone or Skype for up to one hour a month. Now think about it. We have, let's say, a server space for 25 people at $19.95 a month. If I take out my handy calculator here, Let's say we put 25 people, right? 1995 divided by 25 is about 80 cents per person. If I'm charging even the bare minimum, the $25 a month per person, that means I'm clearing roughly $24.20 per month per person. $24.20 times, let's say I have 25 clients a month. That's $605 a month times 12 is 72.60 per year. More likely, when you get up to as much as 100 clients, even on the basic $24 a month, you get 24.20 times 100 is 2420 a month times 12. That's almost $30,000 a year simply by setting them up on a server that you get for $20 a month. Now, that's an outstanding proposition because from experience, I can tell you that most, if not all clients, don't really contact you every month, even by email or forum. They basically get it set up and they want to make sure that you ensure that things are there and working, but you're not responsible for all the content. You're not responsible for spam control or other the things that normally take up a lot of time. You just have to make sure that the server is running. And again, this is handled by Bluehost for the most part. So it's an outstanding value proposition and also a great profit center for you because it keeps the trust that you started building and it builds over time. The clients will now feel really that it's easy to contact you whenever they want to upgrade or do improvements. Just to close the loop on this, let me tell you the other ones. VPS hosting is where all the little chickens grow up to be big chickens or when they flew the coop or fly the coop they can go to their own VPS. And this basically gives a more powerful server option to a client that maybe has grown out of the space of a shared server, even one that you're offering via your reseller account. And this is a nice option because you can also offer these to them and help uh, basically migrate them upwards. And we do this ourselves. When a client's business and page view starts to grow and they're really just sort of too big to fit in that school bus, we'll move them up to a VPS or a medium VPS, or even a big VPS. Last is dedicated hosting. And this is something you're probably not going to use any longer. I'm not saying it's not relevant, but this is where you actually would get control of your own physical hardware. A VPS is a virtual private server. That means that there's a cluster of computers at Bluehost that they actually probably lease themselves, and you just basically get space, digitally space, or digitally virtual space. Whereas a dedicated hosting option is actually what you see here. It's a physical box located in their leased space, and there's upsides to this, but there's also some downsides. If that box goes bad or something physically goes wrong with it, it's all your one machine. Now, there are other reasons why a virtual uh, server would be more advantageous, but for the most part, these are legacies, in my opinion, of either the old days when VPSs weren't an easy option because they were requiring you to be very technical, or the days when people really had unusual sort of setups. They were running non-Linux machines, which meant... Um, 
the software bundle that is used now is pretty standard, right? It's basically uh, Linux, it's Apache, it's PHP, and it's MySQL. Those are the four technologies that are typically in what they call a LAMP server box, okay? Linux, Apache, uh, MySQL, and PHP. Okay, so a dedicated server, maybe you might want to talk about later, but probably when you're just starting out, it's way, way, way into the future. Okay, so this is kind of a quick rundown. Hopefully it's helped you out in understanding some of the mechanics as well, because we, again, ourselves and have had our own clients really, really build a nice, quote unquote, book of business from existing freelance clients by offering them free hosting with a support option. This is Spence, the evil genius. I'll see you next time.